They came for healing. They came with open hearts. They came to do what seemed impossible not so long ago. They had returned to their ancestral homelands to tell their story. A story of survival. A story of success. A story with no ending. They came to say, we are still here. If you guys will remember, we do not have a word in our language to say good morning, so we ask you, did you make it through the night? Okay. I cannot tell you how happy it is to, for us to be in our homelands, to be part of uh, the coming back to our home and reestablishing our connection here. This morning I want to welcome our hymn singers, if our hymn singers will make their way up here. We are going to open with a hymn. Creek Nation. I've been heading up this event here in Oxford, Alabama, and we've been working on this since February. And uh, we came out and we visited the site and we've looked at the hotel, we got everything figured out. Uh, the mayor of Oxford welcomed us in and uh, let us use his staff any way we need it, and they've been help, great help to us. We are now here for the past two days, it's Friday and Saturday. As, as you see, it's been very, very windy. A little bit on the cold side, but we layered up, layered up, and now we're making it through the event. of our flutes go all the way back to that period of time and you know it's uh, pretty interesting to, to, to know that and unfortunately in the 60s uh, flutes were about to die out they were about to go away and it was just going to be something you would see inside of a uh, museum uh, we were fortunate enough there is a gentleman by the name of Woodrow Haney who's uh, Seminole and of Creek descent and then there's another gentleman who's a Comanche, his name was Doc Tate Nevoquoia. 
and these gentlemen along with a couple of others were instrumental in reviving flute making and and brought it back to the natives and it was through them and you probably heard of Carlos Nakai he was real famous he was one of the first ones who done a modern recording uh, of the flute and played with you know other instruments and everything else with the flute uh, he's the one that made it real popular but he had to come to Oklahoma to learn how to make flutes uh, from these guys and so uh, a lot of your flute makers that you see out there now are actually descendants from these two gentlemen and the other two and so it's it's real interesting in how all this came about and so I was real fortunate to learn this trade myself and learn how to make flutes and uh um, I'd like to say thank you first and foremost uh, for the you know warm welcome. Um, so excited to be here, see all these beautiful faces. Um, the experiences I've had, they've been pleasant. Like I've just been able to speak to different people and hear you know their appreciation for our history. You know for them to inhabit this land now, you know, that we're still here even though we're in Oklahoma, so they have those remains, not literal like the mounds and stuff, but just like, I don't know, our presence, as they've said, we shaped the land, so it's still here. So that's kind of the experience I've had, is just hearing people say that. Peace. The age of beast, Miss Gogolgi. I'm Mary Pachunka. I'm Mary Pachunka Smith. I am the promotions and hospitality. Um, I do promotions and hospitality for the city of Oxford, and I was actually appointed um, by the mayor, by Mayor Kraft from the city of Oxford, um, to help help put this event on. And it has been um, heartwarming, humbling, and I've learned a lot, and um, I've made lots of friends, and we have brought people from um, all over the southeast for this um, new event. Luann Bear and um, Ann Townsend um, with the um, Muscogee Nation um, for, gosh, probably six months now um, to put this event on. Has it been what you thought it would be? Oh, it's, it's, it's bigger and better than what I ever expected it to be. So first of all, we want to thank the city of Oxford for being so gracious to us. You've welcomed us home with a warm welcome and we all extend a warm handshake from our hearts this morning. We are happy to be here in our homelands to make this connection. Good morning, everybody. My name is Speaker William Lowe. I represent the Okmulgee District for the Muscogee Creek Nation. I'll start over here to my left, your right. We have Scotty, Representative Scotty Harjo Nelson, <laughs> Senior, Okmoki District. We have Representative Daryl Proctor, McIntosh District. Representative Joe Hicks, Creek District. We have Representative Anna Marshall, Tugabuchi District. Representative Joyce Deer, Muskogee District. Representative Thomasine Yehola Osborne, Tuckabuchi District. Representative Charles Son McHenry, Wagner District. We have Representative Galen Cloud, McIntosh District. We have eight districts within our tribal legislation, and we have nine of the 16 members here. So, Oxford again, Mado for having us. Mado. And also all the way from D.C., our Ambassador of Muscogee Creek Nation, John Dedeo Chaudhary. Again, uh, I'm just kind of joking here, but I guess we are getting our land back jar by jar. 